understanding the key differences between becoming a network admin versus becoming a network engineer. As you grow, you're going to learn that this is really less about a job title and it's more about discovering who you really are. And that's why I find it like it's extremely important for anybody to know if you're going to make this decision that you need to take your time with making this decision because you're literally going to be shaping your whole entire future just based on this one decision. So before we get started, make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're really trying to rock with your boy, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you get that weekly notification when I drop these videos on you. And if you don't know, uh, I'm the Network Ninja. I'm just out here trying to help anybody that's beginning their career in IT or in networking and really just trying to share my unique perspective. If you've already been in the field, just trying to share my experience and everything through these videos. All right, now let me go ahead and break down why I feel like this choice really matters. And to start off, let's just talk about the roles. Uh, the differences between being a network admin and a network engineer. And to start off, we'll just start off with like the network admin's role. So in this role, you can expect to be the initial point of contact or support for any kind of network related issues. Um, usually you're going to be working for some big major organization or some enterprise level business and you're going to be supporting their network and mainly you're going to be customer facing meaning you'll be dealing with all of the users all the end users really just helping them out with network troubleshooting issues um, also you could expect to be dealing with technical resources or uh, that are remote right sometimes you're not able to access equipment remotely sometimes these companies have field techs that are technical that can access the equipment or help you troubleshoot a network network issue if you're at a remote location or if they're at a remote location you need to look at some networking equipment there since you're going to be dealing with people on a daily basis and pretty much all these different personality types from every walk of life you're going to want to make sure that you got your soft skills up to date and this involves anything from making sure that you're remaining professional in all your email communication, all the way up to being able to understand in both the technical issues that you come across and non-technical issues. And I say that because sometimes you're going to be required to just take a technical issue and break it down to somebody that's non-technical. And then you're going to have to do vice versa, right? Sometimes you're going to have to take a non-technical issue and you're going to have to make it understandable for somebody that's super technical. Now, as for your day to day, your main focus is just to make sure that the network is just operating as designed. And that looks like just doing daily maintenance on the network um, and troubleshooting various network issues. Anything from just your basic network connectivity issue all the way to dealing with intermittent connectivity to performance issues. You're just trying to make sure that everything is just operating as designed. Now, the network admin, like I said, they're just making sure that this network is just operating as it was designed to operate. So that leads us into what the network engineer does. Their primary focus and their role is to design the network, build it, architect it, implement the network that the admins are supporting. So this looks like just basically doing project related work and meeting deadlines and certain things like that really behind the scenes you're really just laid back in the cut you're not really customer facing or dealing with a whole bunch of the end users and everything on a day-to-day -day. your day-to-day -day is really putting projects together working on project related work and everything like that another key task for you as a network engineer you're going to be focused on network optimization meaning you just want to make sure that there is just minimum network downtime when you design these networks. You want to make sure that when these admins are supporting it, they're just going to have minimum network downtime. Also, since you are the one who is building out these networks and you're the architect and everything, you're also going to be expected to handle any kind of complex network issues when they arise. The things that the network admins may be they might be too busy to jump on and they'll need you or just some stuff is just going to be 
kind of out of their league, out of their knowledge. They're not going to be able to handle that. So they're going to be reporting these challenges and issues to you. So again, as a network engineer, you're going to be expected to handle these issues when they come your way. With You're, you're going to want be the one that has the higher level expertise. You got that deep understanding of these networking concepts and all of that. So when these issues come to you, they're, you're being expected to isolate or resolve these issues in, in a timely manner, right? You're trying to get rid of these issues as quickly as possible if you can. And usually by the time that they come to you, there there's some major issue with the network. Like either it's been down for days or something and people just can't figure it out or just hours just without the network. So by the time you get to it, you should be able to look at the technology that you designed or you built out and try to figure out what's going on or at least isolate it to whatever kind of component on the network that's causing the trouble. All right, since we discussed the roles, let's move on and let's just talk about developing the essential skills that you need to have so that you can go from like a beginner to a pro so that you could be super successful, right? As a network admin or as a network engineer. We'll start it off again with the network admins. So as a network admin, every issue that comes your way is going to be like a piece of a puzzle, right? Or it's just going to be a puzzle. And your job is to just do a lot of information gathering and, and getting a lot of details about whatever kind of issue it is, because you're not going to have the whole puzzle. And that's kind of the skill that you're going to have to develop. And one of the things that you can work on is like your critical thinking skills. And what I mean by that is just like being able to have like them questions ready to go when people say, oh, the network's down and critical thinking. You're going to be like the who, the what, when, where, why, how, being able to ask all of those questions and get like technical information so that you can move on to your next skill that you're going to need, which is troubleshooting. Because after you gather all of that information, you're going to have to be able to troubleshoot well. So you're going to want to know who's involved. Is it just one computer or is it all the computers? Where is this happening on the network? Is it happening on my LAN or is it happening on my WAN? Uh, has anything changed on this network? Just you thinking outside the box so that you can pull all of this information together because sometimes dealing with these users or people that are not so technical is like pulling teeth because they're just going to be saying things that are just like, oh, network's down or wi fis down. And you as the technical resource, you that there, there could be so much to that when they say the network's down. There's so many components to the network and everything like that. So you got to get real sharp on developing those kind of skills. Another skill that you're going to have to work on, I don't know if it's even possible, but you definitely want to get efficient at multitasking because you're going to be sometimes finding yourself emailing somebody, answering the phone, updating a ticket that came in and troubleshooting the network issue all at the same time. So you want to definitely develop that skill of multitasking the best you can. And the only way that you can do that is just practice, 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 and just being involved and just saturating yourself with all of these network issues and not shying away from those kind of issues. Now, as a network engineer, you're going to really have to go beyond what an admin can do. And to be able to do that, you're going to have to pretty much be able to be well versed in like advanced tools. And one of the advanced tools that you're going to mainly be working with when you're troubleshooting complex network issues is Wireshark. And if you don't know what that is, Wireshark is just a network protocol analyzer. And that's just a fancy way of saying it's a tool that is able to capture raw data or what they call packets. And it presents it to whatever engineer or whatever the human that's using the tool, that program presents that information that it captures to where you can go inside of the packet, look at different aspects of the protocols and everything down to like the bit level of what's actually going on with the data that's going across the physical wire. You can like really drill down deep into the networking issue to see is the machine even processing the information correctly? Is is the information even making it to the machine? It's just being able to do all of that kind of stuff is where you're going to be able to go way deeper than just 
where a network admin is just working at the command line and just entering commands to try to get information. You get a little bit more information than just command line. You get to actually see what's going on with the data that is on the network. Okay, so finally we looked at both of the roles of being an admin versus being a network engineer. We also looked at some of the skills that I think are pretty important for you to skill up in so that you can go from like a beginner to a pro. Although each of these roles are unique and they're definitely super important in their own respect. The truth is no matter which one you choose, you're gonna need to understand that you're gonna have to develop some kind of collaborative relationship between these roles in, in this kind of hierarchy that they're in, right? Because the network admins, they're, they're in the trenches. They're gonna be dealing with all of the network issues on a day-to-day -day basis. They're gonna be really in tune with the network because again, they're dealing with the network all the time. They're dealing with the users all the time. So they're gonna be able to notice any kind of stuff that might be trending on the network that's always causing an issue. Or sometimes they can be proactive because they've seen certain issues come about or they knew that something about a user or some kind of specific information about the network. They're really in tune with what the network is doing. However, they are going to have them times when either, again, they're going to be too busy multitasking or something or the issue is just basically is just too complex for them to handle. And that's where this collaborative relationship comes into play because you're going to have to report these challenges up to a network engineer. You're going to have to escalate the issue to get it resolved because you can't just keep spinning your wheels on something. So you're going to have to develop some kind of relationship with the network engineer. On the other hand, you're going to have the network engineers that are going to be taking all of these escalations. When they're getting these escalations, they shouldn't just be looking at them not as just fixes, but they should start looking at this as ways to offer enhancements to the network or better designs for the network, as well as an opportunity to educate the network admin team so that they can minimize the downtime of the network and they can focus again on their projects of researching and developing and designing and implementing better networks. Each reported issue that comes to the network engineer's way, they shouldn't look at this as some kind of they're being bothered by the network admin team or the network operations center team. They should look at this in their, from their perspective, right, as an opportunity to either educate the admins that they're working with um, or just the opportunity to design a better network. In this relationship, the admins and the engineers, at the end of the day, they really are just partners. And to truly have a network that's thriving and running optimally, um, you want to be able to not only resolve network issues swiftly, but innovations should be being implemented throughout the network as well. To wrap things up, um, for anybody that's aspiring to get into this networking field or this IT field, remember that this choice isn't just your, about like your career decision. It's also about how you're shaping your whole entire future. So are you going to be drawn to dealing with people and dealing with those kind of challenges of multitasking on a daily basis or do you want to sit back really in the cut and just build out the networks that the admins are supporting and then step up only if they really need you on these big um, complex networking issues that's the kind of choice that you really need to sit down and think about go ahead and do me a favor go ahead and leave a comment below admin or engineer which one, after you heard all of this kind of information, which one is really resonating with you? Or have you changed your mind about your current position? Just anything. Just leave me a comment, admin or engineer, after we went through all of this. Go ahead. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe to the channel. If you found any of this kind of information valuable, useful for you, thumbs up the video if you liked it, of course. And as always, I appreciate y'all for tapping in with your boy and i'm gonna catch y'all on that next video he's coming holla at me peace